Hey, what's going on guys? John here again and today we're talking about Tesla and the new recall that's happening again. It looks like every single day we're hearing a brand new recall. Now, I'm not sure if it's just America that's causing all the issues here. It doesn't sound like outside of North America there's any other noise, but this time around we're talking about the PWS, that is the pedestrian warning sound. Now in the case of EVs, you know that there is literally no sounds. And the only way to have sound is through these external speakers installed just somewhere at the front of the car. This is just to warn pedestrians that they are moving, they are there. Now you do know that ICE car internal combustion engines make a lot of noise, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Pedestrians, even though they cannot see, they can definitely hear the engine roaring, even if it's just a little Prius. But that's not the case for EV cars where it's dead silent. So this is the reason why Tesla and a lot of other EV manufacturers decide to add this external speaker. Now the real issue here lies with just Tesla where they've used the external speaker not just for the warning sounds, but they use it for a lot of different things as well. You do know that there is the fart feature, there's an ice cream feature, there is now some kind of customizable sound. You can install your USB in there and you can play your music. You can even switch your music from the internal speakers to the outside so you can listen to music while you're camping. This is all nice and dandy, but it does not fare well with the NHTSA. They are calling this a safety hazard, so let's talk a little bit more about that. All right, so first things first, there is roughly about 570 thousand cars in the US that has this external speaker. Now those cars are going to be ranging from the 2017 Model 3s all the way until the 2022 Plaids. All of them have these external speakers planted on the front chassis so you're going to see that that option is available. Maybe in the upcoming update you're not going to see the boombox feature anymore available in your UI. Now what's interesting to note is that no other countries other than the US has put out this recall so we're probably still going to be getting this external boombox feature who knows or Tesla might just decide to do it globally and no one's gonna get that feature in general now I know Canada has pushed out a recall recently and that has to do with the full self driving beta the rolling stop feature and I did highlight that in a previous video so if you guys want to check that out I'll drop a link right up top there and in the description below but in general there has been two recalls from Canada so far the first one has to do with the heat pump and the second one has to do with the FSD beta um, just with the rolling stops so for now it looks like in Canada you'll still be able to enjoy the boombox feature and get the ice cream music going while you're driving. That's something that I love so much, but I don't use it as often. So even though it's gone, I'm not going to miss it too much. All right, so let's talk about NHTSA and uh, what are they saying? Well, they're saying that the sounds that a lot of cars are emitting is not just a typical noise that comes with the car, but there are cars out there that are playing customizable sounds and they're playing a music, which overall just impedes everybody from hearing. Somebody playing loud music really doesn't represent a car. Somebody just might be holding a speaker and it just confuses the pedestrian a lot. So all in all, in my opinion, I do believe that this is a safety concern. Now it is a little bit drastic and I am a Tesla owner, so I know when things have to be stopped for the safety of everyone else, it really sucks for the driver but for the safety of just think of your friends and family you're gonna be really happy if this feature has been removed all right so with NHTSA saying all this they are still requiring Tesla to play some kind of white noise at roughly 18.7 miles per hour or roughly about 30 kilometers per hour or lower this gives a pedestrians a chance to just know that a car is coming and it just gives them a sense of where you are at the moment so even though they're forcing Tesla to remove the boombox feature which pretty much does the same thing but a little bit more customizable they are forcing a white noise so you might be hearing some kind of weird backup noise which we typically are hearing but moving forward so as of right now when recording this video there is nothing set in stone so if you walk out to your car right now you'll still be able to use the boombox feature but it just could be a flip of a switch and we won't be able to have that feature anymore maybe tomorrow morning when Tesla pushes out an update there has been so many recalls lately that I can't even count every morning I wake up I pop on Twitter, suddenly another recall appears. So it's a little bit ridiculous at this point that they're targeting Tesla so much. Next thing you know, they might take away summons. They might take away the mobile app. They might take away the screen because it's a safety concern. There's so many things you can pick about the Tesla. But as of right now, guys, just enjoy your car. There's really nothing else you can really do. If there are recalls, there's recalls and they'll be happening through a firmware update. So you don't have to bring your car into the service center just like every other car out there. So anyways, this should wrap it up for this quick little update i do hope you enjoyed the channel if you did please make sure to subscribe once again guys this is john peace out